And here's a live look looking at the intersection of Highway 1 and Bowman Road. This is looking towards the south. As you can already see, this blue skies in the background will be mostly clear throughout the day. If you have any outdoor plans, it's going to be a great one. If you're out walking your dog or if you have any plans maybe outside of work or outside of school, it's definitely going to be a great day. The temperatures will be warming up. We're all clear on Skywatch weather radar. Not expecting anything as far as any rainfall for today. Picking up a little bit of moisture though around the Jackson radar down towards the south and in portions of northern Louisiana. And much of the southeastern part of the country is clear. There's a little bit of pockets of rain moving into northwestern Tennessee, portions of Missouri, Kentucky, Illinois and Indiana, but that stuff will be mostly up to our north and bypass us as we'll be dry for at least for today and going into tomorrow. Current temperatures are beginning to warm up. We're already at 51 right here in Greenville, 50 over in Greenwood. Still cool down towards the south, 44 for Vicksburg and 46 for Jackson, 43 for Wyona. It's already 54 in Monticello, Arkansas. And as temperatures begin to warm, we'll be in the lower 70s that much of today. 71 for the high in Clarksdale, 72 for Greenville, also Lake Providence, 70 for Kosciuszko. Charleston and for Greenwood. Now as temperatures are going to be on the warmer side and still above average will only be in the upper 40s and right at 50 right here for Greenwood. Same for Greenville. 49 for the low tonight in Yazoo City and Kosciuszko. Also for Charleston. Now as you're planning your day again not going to be as cold. You'll need your light jacket early this morning but temperatures will be warming up rapidly around noon already reaching 70 degrees. So if you, again if you have any outdoor plans it's going to be a great day especially if you're going to be outside 5 5 p.m. Spending a pleasant evening, we'll see a few clouds start to linger in around in the evening hours, but we'll start to clear out as we go throughout tonight. Now, rain chances will start to move in on Friday night. That's going to be our next frontal system that will move through, and it's going to be overnight hours, and then on Saturday and Sunday is when we expect the most activity. Not expecting a huge washout, probably pick up about an inch of rainfall over the course of the three days from Friday into Sunday, and we'll dry out by Monday with them some potential lingering activity going into next Tuesday. So if you have any weekend plans, might want to take them into consideration. It might be potentially going to be a wet weekend, 68, 69 for Saturday and Sunday with periods of showers and expect more activity going into Sunday. Now the jet stream is currently up in Canada. It has dipped down into portions of our uh, eastern part of the country, moving off into the Atlantic. It's really set the stage for temperatures to be above average in the southwestern part of the country and even here in the Arkland, this region, we're right here in that shade of red on the borderline of it. And temperatures going to be about 17 degrees above average, especially for Friday, reaching a high of 77. Temperatures in the upper 60s for the weekend. Front moves through, dropping to 59 on Monday and back to 66 by next Tuesday. Now tonight, expecting a low of 50. It's going to be mostly clear as clouds start to clear out. For tomorrow, it's going to be sunny and 75. Didn't think I'd say that. For the month of December, it's going to be mostly pleasant. And then looking at the seven day forecast, again, Friday nights we'll see that rain activity and Saturday and Sunday mostly cloudy with patchy showers. And then Monday we'll have some lingering cloud activity with some more activity potentially for next Tuesday. And that's going to wrap it up for your morning weather.